Yo, welcome back to the channel. Uh, so yeah, today I wanted to show you my new and latest Vistapic build for 2021 using all new latest technology from the Zing 2 1404 motors to the iFlight Beast F7 all-in-one flight controller. Uh, I've got Tracer and Cadix Vista Nebula Pro. Uh, and yeah, we're going to be going over this build and I'm going to be showing you what it can do. Right, so the first uh, product that I wanted to try out were these. Uh, these are the new Zing 2 1404. 4,600 kV motors, uh, so exactly the same spec as the old ones, uh, but they got a new refined uh, design there, new bell design, and I think they've probably improved the durability of them slightly as well. Um, really, yeah, nice little, nice little motor, and I, I really like this uh, size, this 1404 size and the 4600 kV for 4S on 3 inch. On, my pre on, my, on the Vista pick that I was flying last year, just performed really, really well. I wanted to stick to the same spec. If anything, I might have gone up in kV slightly, uh, but these are the highest kV that they, they come in. Um, as for the price, uh, I think they're about £12 each, I'm not sure. Uh, I'll put the price here. <laughs> uh, so, not super expensive, but it is. they are kind of the same price as a big motor. But there's quite a bit of engineering that goes into making them this small um, without them just falling apart easily. So, yeah, really nice construction. Uh, not too notchy, not too smooth. The next part of the build that I wanted to try out was trying out another flight controller, uh, another all-in-one board. So I've tried the JHG MCU, uh, I've tried the GEP RC, Beta FPVs, ones are my favourite up until now. Uh, the two that I've, I've used still running today. Uh, all the others have, I've managed to break. Um, uh, the nameless one, that was utter pile of rubbish so uh, yeah I've tried I, I try to try them all um, give them all a bit of a fair shout but if they break quickly then they're useless to me uh, I fly pretty hard so um, yeah they need to be durable uh, so when I first saw the iFlight Beast uh, I was really keen to give that a try uh, but I didn't really look at it too closely I was just like yeah okay so it's another all-in-one board um, and it's probably pretty good because it's from iFlight and they're really good when it comes to ESCs and FCs um, so yeah up until now I haven't really been that bothered about trying it but I really wish I'd have tried it sooner because uh, it's almost designed just for me um, you can see it's got this plug on there and it's got the four, these four long wires go straight into my Vista and these three short wires go straight into my Tracer. Um, really nice uh, layout of the pads and everything, but literally I, I don't use any of the pads, I just use this wire and solder my motors up to it. I really like um, having the solder pads on the edge of the board, um, but uh, yeah, it, it's not. It's not a deal breaker for me that, but yeah, it just makes for quite a nice, neat, clean build. And with this one plug approach that you can take with this build, um, just makes it super easy. I literally just solder up the motors to it, solder up my RX, solder up the Vista, and away I go. Um, so I put them all together and built uh, this, my second, my new latest Vista pick and uh, I took it out for a maiden the other day. I'll play that footage now. Uh, usually when I go out for a maiden, I just do a bit of freestyle, and that's one thing I really like about this quad, is that uh, it's so versatile. Like, you can fly it slowly, you can fly it fast, you can just cruise around if you want to and get loads of flight time, or you can, you know, you can really push it and do some cool tricks with it, um, like diving down the tower and um, going through this little building here, because it's so small, that's that's really easy. Uh, it was super windy 
uh, even though it looks nice and sunny out there, it was really windy. So again, that's not usually a good thing for a maiden, um, but it can be because at the end of the day, if you live in the UK, it's windy quite often. So you want your quad to be able to perform pretty well when it's windy. And yeah, I was really surprised at how well this was performing. Um, one thing that I really like about this FC um, is that it has onboard black box. I really like using black box as a frame designer. Um, it's, you know, I, I probably wouldn't bother trying to design frames if I didn't have black box because I'm, I'm not like educated enough in SolidWorks and running simulations to be able to make any sense of that data. It would just all be a waste of time for me to do that. I solely rely on in the field testing with actual real world quads and black box. I do a lot of, I spend a lot of time looking at black box logs and uh, refining my frame designs to shift frame resonance up into a more manageable uh, frequency. Yeah, I've been able to do a bit of black boxing with this. Uh, I'll show you the raw gyro, uh, the raw gyro noise uh, that comes from the quad. So that's more than likely just uh, motor noise and not really any frame resonance to speak of. Which I'm a little bit surprised with having the uh, Vista just bolted right on top of uh, the flight controller like that. But obviously the way I've designed the Vista to sit inside this TPU, it's actually sitting on top of uh, some little TPU plinths, if you will. Um, so it's actually suspending it quite nicely above the flight controller um, on TPU. So it's all just bolted into TPU and I guess it uh, does a really good job of removing um, low frequency vibrations especially. Um, so yeah, black box login and the Maiden went really well with this thing. Um, but yeah, what I, when it comes to freestyle, you know, if I'm freestyling, I like to fly my five inch with a GoPro on. Can't beat the GoPro footage. Don't get me wrong, DJI DVR isn't bad. And you know, as and when I will freestyle with this, but if I can, I'll fly five inch with a GoPro. Um, so mainly I like to use these for racing. Uh, I found last year that I was just, I was not really, it didn't really benefit me flying a five inch. My skill level, I could absolutely push this to the max and be just as fast as my mates flying five inch. Um, when I'd switched to five inch, I was maybe a little bit faster, um, but it was harder. It was harder work. This, I seem to be able to just fly full send, uh, full beast mode, and not without even trying too hard. It's easy. Uh, you think about how aerodynamic that is when it's going through the air, just shoom, really nice. <laughs> I don't know why it makes that noise. It doesn't make some weird noise. <laughs> it's just, yeah, I think it's just because it's really aerodynamic. It just seems to handle and fly really good on a racetrack. Uh, first time putting Tracer on a little toothpick as well. Um, so yeah, let's cut some footage of that now. Uh, uh, so you can uh, see how well it did perform the other day. Right, so yeah, as you can see, it performs good. Uh, 
these 3016 gem fan props are surprisingly powerful. Right, so yeah, I just really like the 4600 kV motors um, on 4S for racing, especially when running quite light props. Um, 3018s for the HQs and these 3016s, they just perform really well. You can go full throttle and not absolutely rinse your battery. Um, that's what it comes down to. Uh, you can go up to like 30, 30, 30s and it performs pretty well still. But anything above that, I'm just finding that it just, yeah, rinses your battery way too much. Um, so yeah, this setup for me personally, absolutely spot on. And yeah, even got the little fancy LEDs on the arms there, which look cool. I uh, just can't wait until next week when the lockdown uh, finally ends and I can take this little beauty out on the racetrack properly with timing and everything and really see how it stacks up against the big boys, the five inches. <laughs> really looking forward to bringing you some more content featuring my new Vista pick. Uh, and the old one probably because I still fly that too um, but yeah this one this one's this one is a beast uh, this full eye flight setup absolute beast so till the next one take it easy laters